It's too much of a coincidence. He slips away and our case server gets hit. Richard Malik is behind this. I've got Whitworth assets on standby, Mrs. Child. Malik is dead the moment he surfaces. What do you mean, the moment he surfaces? Are you telling me we have nothing? Yes, ma'am. For lack of a better word, he's vanished. Hasn't been at work, hasn't been at home, hasn't bought anything with a card. Of course he hasn't. He's not a moron. He knows our tools. We can't rely on filament. We have to use our fucking eyes and ears. He may have left London. Perhaps he's hiding out in the country. <laughs> this is why all these excuses smell like horseshit. We do have a supporting theory, Mum. We think Malik's been in contact with DedSec. It could be they're hiding him. He's treating London like enemy territory. He's made contact with the local insurgency and got them working with him. So, here's what we're gonna do. Reallocate all resources to the DedSec file. If we shake that tree long enough, Malik's bound to fall out. Do your fucking jobs. Get out there and kill some terrorists. I could have left a fucking bomb in there. Do you want to know why I didn't? Because you're fucking stupid? Because we have something in common. Richard Malik stabbed both of us in the back. Watch. Albion's new policing contract has promised. Everything's set at your end. Oh, it will be. But first you're gonna tell me what this is really about. All right. I'm infiltrating a terrorist group called DedSec. I'm setting up a meeting with them, and your men will capture me before DedSec arrives. So it has to look real. They can't know it's a setup. <sighs> you are a piece of work, Richard. What the hell are you getting out of this? Dead terrorists. I can't prove it yet, but I think Malik was involved in the bombings and the cover-up. What's more, I think he and his conspirators are planning to do it again. He said that was you. He would. It's basic tradecraft. Want to sell a lie, weave it into the truth. So we should trust you now? I had something more transactional in mind. I have your operative. Help me kill Malik, and you get them back. That door will unlock in 30 seconds. Fire team leader, report. No sign of Malik, Mum. Nice clear shot on this dead sick prick, though. Don't tempt me. Fuck. Where the hell is he? What in the fuck is happening? Did you really think I could be outsmarted by Nigel Bloody Cass? <laughs> he recorded that meeting because I wanted him to. It got to Emma Child because I wanted it to. And now law enforcement has full profiles on all of you. If you want to live, get on the ground and put your hands on your head. How about go fuck yourself? No, no, you, you misunderstand. I meant so the shrapnel doesn't hit you. was destroyed by a series of explosions and an individual known to be part of the dead sec organization was seen on cctv attempting to flee the area sirs new director of counterterrorism richard malik issued the following statement i call upon my counterparts around the world to treat the dead sec threat with all due vigilance they are not a resistance what are they resisting they are an international terrorist militia and along with my counterparts in the five eyes nations i am building and you get the idea you're fucked we're being hunted like dogs in the street let's fucking kill him now yes i wouldn't recommend that all scenarios show dead sex odds of survival approaching zero before he can be found malik probably worked out the same thing a few of us thought about that bugly 
Bring it up. Done. The working theory is this. Blowing up a government building like Canada House would require bribes, an infiltration team, materiel, and so on. Doing it without leaving a paper trail would be impossible. Some of you nicknamed this paper trail the Malik Dossier. We're going to break into SRS headquarters, steal it, and prove Malik was behind the bombing. If we're lucky, we might even find some details on Zero Day. Your missions list has been updated. All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right, wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh, look, seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh, no, it worked. Oi, what the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly Fuck. under pressure. Okay, Malik. We know you were behind the embassy bombing, and also the others. So just say it. The earlier bombings? What are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank. Even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power. And fast. No, no. You knew about Zero Day before you came to us. I'm a spy. So, yes. I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Whether or not you are Zero Day, you're still a fucking asshole. Get comfortable, Malik. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are. Dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. <laughs>